Thanks so much for inviting me to be part of this significant uh, panel and a, a quick trigger warning for the content which relates to sexual violence. The global porn industry runs primarily on the backs of women and girls and disseminates sexual exploitation primarily online. It is a mammoth dispenser of sexualized violence and misogyny, the world's most powerful sexual groomer. It is also the world's largest department of education. Many titles feature the sexual abuse and rape of teen and underage girls. When the war in Ukraine broke out, the most popular search term on porn sites was for Ukrainian girl. The mass dehumanization of women and girls in mainstream porn leads to an epidemic of violence against them. We are confronted with big tech at its worst. Young men are learning to take pleasure in torture and humiliation videos fed a diet of rape porn and racist sexual abuse. Schoolboys entertain each other with gang rape videos and girls are reduced to porn fantasy sex props. The global research establishes porn as a driver of violence against women and girls. This is recognised in Australia's new National Plan of Action to address violence against women. It states, pornography often depicts physical and verbal aggression towards women, male dominance and female submission and non-consensual behaviours. Greater pornography use is associated with less progressive attitudes about gender roles, with the belief that women are sex objects and with acceptance of myths about rape. It perpetuates sexist, misogynistic and degrading views about women. These links are also made in a 2020 paper titled Pornography, Young People and Preventing Violence Against Women, published by Our Watch, which is Australia's peak body addressing violence against women. My latest book, He Chose Porn Over Me, Women Harmed by Men Who Use Porn, documents the lived experience of 25 women at the hands of compulsive porn using partners. Many were subjected to sexual aggression and violence. Frontline worker Di McLeod, who is the director of the Gold Coast Centre Against Sexual Violence in Queensland, told me, in the past few years, we have had a huge increase in intimate partner rape of women from 14 to 80 plus. The biggest common denominator is consumption of porn by the offender, with offenders not able to differentiate between fantasy and reality, believing women are up for it 24 seven, ascribing to the myth that no means yes and yes means anal, oblivious to injuries caused and never ever considering consent. We have seen a huge increase in deprivation of liberty, physical injuries, torture, drugging, filming, and sharing footage without consent. A UK study found that girls were being coerced into anal sex they didn't want and found painful. Why did they do it? Because boys, quote, wanted to copy what they saw in pornography. A UK report by the Children's Commissioner released just this January titled, A Lot of It Is Actually Just Abuse, Young People and Pornography, states, Depictions of degradation, sexual coercion, aggression and exploitation are commonplace and disproportionately targeted against teenage girls. The report found young people are frequently exposed to violent pornography depicting coercive, degrading or pain-inducing sex acts. 79% had encountered violent pornography before the age of 18. Frequent users of pornography are more likely to engage in physically aggressive sex acts. The report also found young people 16 to 21 are more likely to assume that girls expect or enjoy sex involving physical aggression than don't. And girls were significantly more likely than boys to have experienced a violent sex act, which could be defined as aggressive, coercive or degrading. These porn-inspired behaviours spill over into TikTok. Kink 